During China's recent victory day military parade, the People's Liberation Army showcased an impressive lineup of unmanned aerial vehicles. From large style drones to smaller tactical platforms, the parade made it clear that China is rapidly advancing its drone warfare capabilities. But in today's video, we will not look at every single drone that appeared. Instead, we will focus on three major UAVs that are already confirmed to be in service or were close to operational use with the Chinese military. These are the ship Borne unmanned helicopter, the FH-97 Loyal Wingman drone, and the GJ-11 Sharp Sword Stealth u -Cam. Before we continue, a quick reminder, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Your support really encourages us to bring you more detailed defense and military analysis. The first system we will talk about is the Shipburner unmanned helicopter. Unlike fixed-wing UAVs, this drone can take off vertically, making it ideal for use on warships, even those without large flight decks. It is believed to be based on the Chinese AR-2000 design. Its primary role is naval reconnaissance, providing warships with real-time intelligence, every detection of threats, and extended surveillance far beyond the ship's radar horizon. Some reports suggest that it can also be configured for anti-submarine missions, carrying sonar system or small torpedoes. Additionally, this UAV is capable of carrying light precision munitions, allowing it to strike targets on land or at sea without risking human pilots. By combining surveillance and strike capabilities, the ship Borne unmanned helicopter acts as a true force multiplier for the Chinese Navy. Next is the AF-97, also known as the Fi Hong 97. This drone is often described as a loyal wingman because it is designed to operate alongside manned aircraft like the J-20 stealth fighter. The AF-97 was first unveiled in 2021, and although it began as a prototype, China has moved quickly to push it closer towards operational status. Its design closely resembles Western concepts like the US XQ-58 Valkyrie and the Australian MQ-28 Ghost Bat. The role of the F-897 is multi-mission. It can perform electronic warfare, reconnaissance, and even carry air-to-air -air or air-to-ground weapons. By flying ahead of main fighters, the F-897 can scout enemy defenses, jam enemy radars, and even absorb enemy fire protecting the more valuable man jets. What makes this system especially important is its potential for swarm tactics. Multiple F-897s can fly in coordination, overwhelming enemy defenses and giving China's Air Force a technological edge in the future conflicts. Finally, we come to perhaps the most advanced Chinese UAV revealed at the parade, the GJ-11 Sharp Sword. This is the large flying wing stealth combat drone that first entered public view in 2019. It was developed jointly by the Shenyang Aircraft Design Institute and Hongdo Aviation Industry Group. Unlike the F-897, which is still transitioning from prototype to full service, the GJ-11 is already confirmed as operational within the People's Liberation Army. In fact, satellite images and military reports have shown multiple GJ-11s at Chinese air bases and even mock-ups of this drone have been spotted on carrier test facilities, suggesting it may be prepared for naval deployment as well. The GJ-11 rule is clear, it is a stealth strike aircraft with its internal weapons base. It can carry precision-guided bombs or missiles while maintaining a low radar signature. This makes it suitable for penetrating heavily defended airspaces, striking high-value targets, and operating alongside China's most advanced fighters. Together, these platforms demonstrate China's rapid progress in unmanned warfare, and they highlight how the People's Liberation Army is preparing for the future battlefield. And once again, if you found this analysis useful, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share it with friends who are interested in defense and military technology. Your support helps us continue creating more content like this.
Thank you so much.